Hi, today I'm reviewing the Apu Pure Block Daily Natural Sun Cream. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com. Check out my Patreon community or click on the Amazon link below. Okay, so this brand has a lot of different sunscreens. I've got a few of them. I decided to start with this one, though. Um, because it's the one I've been, I don't know. The other one comes in a blue bottle. This one comes in an orange. I was attracted to the orange. So I start with this one. I'll certainly do the other one I have as well. Because um, a few of you have asked about it. So, um, okay. They call this Pure Block Natural Daily Sun Cream. It quickly absorbs to provide a refreshing and matte finish that lasts for hours without feeling sticky and greasy. Which is what also excited me about it. Uh, keeps harmful UV rays at bay with this daily sun cream containing aloe vera, watermelon extracts, and berry blossom complex flower and fruit extracts. Non-sticky, lightweight formula spreads easily and leaves no residue on skin, creating a smooth matte finish that lasts all day. Helps moisturize and soothe dry, tired skin, boosts skin vitality while protecting skin from harmful external aggressors, which UV rays certainly are. Okay, so we'll get first on to packaging and no issues with this. Come Came like this. I think it just came sealed in a little wrap, which was nice. Because I don't have the giant box and have to mess to deal with. So I, I like it. It's efficient. Uh, so no real issues with that. Uh, in terms of denatured or drying types of alcohol, this one does not contain any denatured alcohol, which is always nice. And sometimes you just never know with... Some of the Asian or Japanese sunscreen, some of them tend to have more alcohol in them. Uh, so that was exciting. Although when we get to fragrance, that's the only slight letdown with this one. Um, it does have a few citrus extracts in it. It has a citrusy, slightly floral scent to it, which is about medium strength. Uh, it doesn't ever totally dissipate which is irritating to me. So if you have a sensitive nose or very sensitive skin, you have to keep that one in mind. Sometimes it's nice when they dissipate immediately. So those that like a little bit of scent can get when they apply it, but then it goes away. This one never goes away. It'll be with you the entire time you use it. Kind of a bummer. So that's my, I think, my biggest disappointment with this one. Because overall, otherwise, um, it's got some good things going for it. So it's made in Korea. No issues with that. Uh, the SPF factor is 45, which is above the 30 I'd recommend uh, for daily use. Okay, then we get to the UVA protection factor. And this one's got a PA++++. You can go up to four pluses. Uh, however, it's regulated differently in certain countries. So in certain countries, you can only go up to three pluses. Uh, so, but overall, in my opinion, this provides great UVA protection so it's certainly not an issue at all with this one so very nice that they've done a good job with that because not all sunscreens do a great job with that so and it's certainly something to be aware of and look for especially for your face because the UVA rays are really aging okay then we get to the filters used for this one and there's uh quite a few so it's basically a chemical or organic sunscreen um, it's got avobenzone, which is a UVA ray absorber. Uh, then we've got, let's see, a long name, which is also known as Ensulazole, which is a chemical sunscreen agent which gives strong protection in the UVB range. Uh, unlike most sunscreen agents, it is not oil but water soluble, so it is ideal to create a light. Uh, to create light, oily skin compatible formulas. It is also fairly photostable and can be used to protect other less stable UV, UV filters, AKA avobenzone. Um, so there we go. Okay. Then we've got uh, Univil MC80, which is a UVB ray uh, absorber. So no real issues with that. And then Tinsorb S, which is a very photostable filter that absorbs both UVB and UVA rays. So they've done a pretty good job with that. Avobenzone is always a little bit, uh, not. I'm never excited to see it in a formula, but when they do use other filters with it, it can be much more effective than traditionally when it's used without its friendly formula filters. 
then it's not super exciting to see. But when they've used other filters that work to make it a bit better. So keep that one in mind. Um, okay. So in terms of the white cast with this one, uh, there is no white cast. Although when you apply it, it looks, it looks like you're going to get a white cast. But once you smooth it into skin, it pretty much absorbs uh, fully and really sets to a pretty clear finish, which is pretty impressive. So uh, no issues at all with that. Always nice. So if you have deeper or super fair skin tones, uh, you're going to be very happy with this one. So, okay. Then we get to texture. It has a really nice lotion texture. Let me apply it again. Um, so once it soaks in, it sets to a nice a matte finish, which is nice. Absorbs pretty quickly. The texture is pretty nice. I have no issues at all with it. Um, so very nice texture. Uh, although uh, it does uh, set to a, for the most part, non-sticky finish. Uh, right after you apply it, I would let it soak in for a minute or two because the longer you give it to soak in, you'll have better luck applying your foundation over it because it will be non-sticky once it soaks in. So you really need to give it a few minutes before you go on with the rest of your routine, especially if stickiness is an issue. So give it its time to soak in and you'll be happy with the finish. Um, so uh, ease of use applies very easily. No noticeable pilling, which is nice. So many other products can cause pilling in this one since it requires such little effort to smooth it into skin pilling doesn't become nearly as big of an issue. The longer you smooth it in and have to work it in, the more likely you are to have pilling issues. Um, so this one doesn't have that because it really doesn't take much effort to really smooth it into skin and create a nice even layer. So absorbs quickly, nice non-sticky matte finish once it soaks in. Okay, then we get to antioxidants and pigment, uh, antioxidants and beneficial ingredients, excuse me. Okay, we've got a decent list. We've got panthenol in there, which is a good skin repairing hydrating ingredient. Rice bran extract, another good skin soothing hydrating ingredient. Watermelon extract. Uh, then we've got cherry fruit extract, uh, vitamin E. We've got aloe, pomegranate extract, and peach extract. So some great hydrating ingredients. I would have liked to see a bit more, maybe some good antioxidants in there, but overall... I'm pretty happy with the formula that they included. At least we've got vitamin E. Some watermelon in there is nice. So some really good hydrating ingredients. A few more antioxidants certainly wouldn't have hurt. But overall, uh, they did better than most other sunscreens really do. So many of them are just about the sunscreen. That's it. Nothing else good. And the more good things you include, the better the sunscreen's going to work. That's my thought. Give me more antioxidants. Give me more beneficial ingredients. I'm always happy about it. Some people don't necessarily think that, but I'm all about the good stuff. Always give me the good stuff. So, okay. Acneogenic ingredients. This is the biggest letdown with this one overall. Uh, it's got quite a few acneogenic ingredients. So if you have acne prone skin or fungal acne prone skin, you're probably better off passing this one up. But it's got glycerol sterate. Cetaryl alcohol, Cetaryl olivate, sorbitin sterate, sorbitin isosterate, butylene glycol, dimethicone, polysorbate 20, and PEG 100 sterate. So if you have acne prone skin, you're probably better off passing it up, especially since there's no beneficial ingredients that are really there to help fight uh, against acne. So had they included something really good in there, maybe to help prevent breakouts, niacinamide or something, it would make me more likely to recommend it, but overall it's just got quite a few. So, okay, then we get to animal testing, and this brand is cruelty free. So, very exciting, no issues with that. Performance performs very nicely. Um, it will certainly protect your skin from sun damage, from UVA and UVB rays. It doesn't get greasy even after a long day, even after 12 hours of wear. It doesn't look greasy. It doesn't create dry patches or accentuate flaky skin, which is also nice. The only bummer about how well it performs is the fact that the fragrance and scent of it lasts all day long. Um, so it's great for skin that isn't sensitive or acne prone. Those are probably two of the categories of people which I'd probably tell them to pass up, especially if you have very sensitive skin to fragrance. 
or skin that has super acne prone skin, I would pass up this one. Don't even touch the bottle. That's my thought on it. Okay, then we get to price. And this is the full size, which is a nice, pretty decent sized bottle. It's 1.69 ounces or 50 milliliters. And it retails, if you don't get it on sale, for 10 bucks. And then you can usually get, I think I got this for $7, which is ridiculous. So that equals out to, assuming you don't get it on sale, 20 cents in a milliliter. That's one of the most affordable ones I've seen. And if you get on sale, it's almost like zero cents a milliliter. I mean, it's a really good deal. I just wish it didn't contain so much fragrance. But you know what? We haven't had a perfect one yet. Everything's had something wrong with it. So I'm very curious to see if we get a 15 out of 15 by the time sunscreen week is over. We'll see. Okay, so a perfect score is 15. This one got a 13, which is pretty darn close. A couple slight changes, and it could have been the first perfect sunscreen, but not quite there yet. So anyway, I'm interested to hear from you guys if you've tried uh, this out or if you try any of the other sunscreens out from the brand. Uh, leave a comment and let me know what your thoughts are on it. Um, otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much, and I will see you more tomorrow.